Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we are going to be doing some resin art with only items I got from AliExpress. So let's get started. Hey guys, so here are some of the things I'm using, specifically from AliExpress. All these items are for AliExpress. So these are these beautiful dried flowers. We have uh, colors specifically for resin, liquid pigments, and these beautiful, beautiful colors. It's a kit. All right, we have these very, very cute bubbles and all these four colors here, purple, green, white, and pink. And we have this adorable little perfume mold in three sizes and this beautiful lotus mold alrighty and I'm gonna be using the clear cast 7000 it's a one-to-one -one ratio resin so I'm gonna set up everything for these beautiful molds so we can get started with the resin art all right guys so i put the flowers i broke them down the pretty little baby breaths and these very beautiful pink flowers and i put the bubbles in the um mold the white the pink and the purple i'm going to save the green for another project and these are the colors i picked out i picked out the white this very pretty yellow the sapphire blue and the pink and I have so many other colors and again I'm using the ClearCast 7000 and I'm gonna go off and mix the resin and add the color next all right guys so I mixed up the resin my molds are ready with all the little items in it okay so next part is we're gonna add the color so the color is mixed in. We have these beautiful, beautiful colors, that very clear pink, that beautiful sapphire blue, the yellow, and the creamy white. All right, it is time to pour the resin. So now I'm going to be layering this very clear pink resin in the uh, lotus mold, and I'm gonna be layering it with the white. And I see that it's a little hard to see the pink because, of course, my my uh, silicone mat is pink as well. But I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just layering both colors together. And I'm just pouring over those very pretty flowers. And then I'm going to move it around with my heat tool. All right, so now I'm gonna get my heat tool and I'm just going to, I just wanna like mix the colors together inside the mold to give it more of a natural feel, just wherever the, however the colors mix, they mix. And also of course, it's for popping any air bubbles cause you don't want air bubbles in your resin. All right, so next is we're going to pour the um, perfume bottle. So we're going to take this beautiful sapphire blue in the bigger one with the white bubbles. They're like clear with, it looks like a little reflect of pink. It's very, very pretty. In the next mold, we're going to do all yellow, the medium sized perfume bottle with the purple bubbles. And in the last one, we are gonna pour a little bit of the blue and mix it with a little bit of the yellow. And I did add a little yellow to the lotus flower mold as well. I just felt like it needed a little more of a pop of color. So 
now we are going to wait 24 hours and we will unmold it hey guys it is two days later i let it just sit and rest and cure so again here these beautiful colors i really love using these liquid uh pigments because they are very very clear and sheer and i think they're very very highly pigmented you don't need a lot to add to your resin so they're very very nice and i really love these flowers they smell beautifully and they're very very pretty and I think that these bubbles are just perfect. They work beautifully in the, um, and I'll use that in another, the green in another project, but they work really, really nice in the perfume bottle uh, mold. All right, so I had a little bit of um, extra resin and I always grab my little uh, mermaid mold and I put a little hook in there, the little, um, we can make a little charm out of it. So that's what I did, and I just wanted to show you how beautiful the colors are. They are highly pigmented, but still have like this transparent look to it. And I did unmold this one, or demold, a little early when the resin was still soft. And I put the little hook in there as well, so I can make a charm out of it. And I will be adding these guys, or some of these guys, to my next giveaway. So I think that came out beautifully with the yellow and the blue. Alright, so let's unmold the last three. I think they came out beautifully. I'm really, really happy with them. And let's see how it came out. So that's really, really pretty. I love the bubbles. It just gives this really cool extra texture to it. This makes it like more fun, more playful. So I love the purple and the yellow. And here is the blue, the sapphire blue with the white bubbles in it. That came out very easily. And here they are. Sorry, I have a, a little bit of fingerprints on there, but if you could see how beautifully pigmented this uh, the the pigments are the liquid pigments with the white bubbles. It just came out really, really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. And I love the sheerness. You can see through it, but yet still have color in your resin art. I think they're really, really nice. And I forgot how much I paid for this kit, but it's really reasonable. So let's unmold. So I did add some yellow to the... Um, lotus flower and i add a few more flowers to it so you can use either side of this you can use the side where the flowers are more prominent or you can use the other side and you're going to see that in a second because i'm very curious how this is going to come out Ooh, so that popped out really nicely so you see all the detail of the lotus flower and it's very very cool uh, i love that let's put it against the white so that side is just more flowers and like i said you could flip it and use this side i think what i would do differently is probably just add color in the flower petals maybe paint in some powder pigment next time or use different colors um, but I do still like this mold and I will absolutely be using it more. I am very, very happy with it, with every, the way everything came out. I <laughs> can't talk guys. All right. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's very, very fun to do with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.